In today's video, I'll talk to you about Lux Algo. I'll show you all the different features and options that I use personally and how I adjust them. And hopefully this will answer some of the question you might have. So just sit back, relax, and we're starting this right now. Welcome everyone to my channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day. On this channel, I talk mostly about giving you tips and tricks on how you can make more money in crypto. So if that's something interesting you, well, make sure you hit the subscribe button if you don't want to miss any of my future videos. All right, so in today's video, I'll be talking to you about Lux Algo. I will show you how I use it and how I use their different tools and feature and how I adjust all the setting to make it successful as much as possible. So let's go directly on their website. So I'll put the link in the description to access their website. Um, so if you want to get more detail and uh, more uh, info about the documentation and all the resources available, well, you'll be able to uh, access them. Uh, if you don't know what's Lux Algo, I'll put a link uh, up here so you can have a, an introduction of what it is exactly. Um, but Lux, Lux Algo basically is just an algorithm um, to give you a signal when it would be a good time to buy or sell. Um, so let me show you. So first of all, you need a, an account with uh, TradingView. So make sure you have an, an account open with TradingView. And from there, you'll be able to uh, um, add your Lux Algo algorithm. Like I said, uh, if you don't know how to do it, I did a video that will show you all about that. All right, so let me show you. So this is your trading view. That's what it looked like normally. So all you have to do once you have your create your account with Lux, I'll go. We just need to go to indicator, invite only script. And this is the three uh, script that you can activate on your uh, chart. So. Uh, we got the Lux Algo, which is the main feature. And then we have two different options that we can add also at the bottom of the screen, which is the oscillator and the uh, volatility. So just click on it on the premium. It will show up right here at the top. So if I click on it to activate it, this a bit what it should look like. Not necessarily all like this. That's the way I've been using it myself, but I'll give you um, uh, how I did it. First of all, when you uh, first activate the uh, Lux Algo, you'll have all the, the setting will be right here. Also where you see the title. So right here, that's all your options. So when you click on it, you can select whatever you need to be able to see what we have right here. So let me go very quickly. Um, so signal mode, um, we got two options. I always use the confirmation color mode, same thing. Sensitivity, that will be different right now. So you can take them, uh, you can take note. Um, there are on 18 and 29. I'll show you a little bit how it's done. Usually, um, I believe they are at 12 and 26 when you uh, open up your account That's the, for the first time. So that's the default, but that's the way I adjust them for my personal taste. And then the indicator overlay uh, right now I have both and uh, activated, which is the reversal zone. That's the big uh, zone. We can see the red and the green. And then we have the EQ cloud, which is right here. Um, well, it's 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 kind of hard to see, but it's right here in the middle. I'll, I'll show you and uh, support and resistance. Right now I don't use it, use them, but they can be very uh, useful. Um, depending on your way you like to uh, trade. So if we can see, yeah, so we have the little uh, cloud right here. So when it's bluish like this, it means it's on the uptrend. And when it's get like a kind of red, it's on a downtrend. So when we have the price action above the cloud, well, we know it's an uptrend. And then when it go below the cloud, it's usually on a downtrend. So the way I use it, basically, first of all, I adjusted 
the way I want it. So I just usually I'll zoom out a little bit to see as much as possible. So right now I'm on the uh, Bitcoin, so BTC USDT, um, but it doesn't really matter which one you use. It just happened that I was um, doing a little bit of trading uh, earlier today um, on uh, Bitcoin. Um, so what I'll usually do, I'll try to see as much as possible like this. And then I'll go to the setting, move this right here so I can see my chart and I'll adjust uh, the, the sensitivity and the agility. Usually I start with the sensitivity, I move it up or down and then I adjust the agility. Um, like I said, by default usually that's 12. Sometimes there was some setting I was using on the on my 15-20 minute chart. Sometimes I was going as low as 9 or 7 for the sensitivity. Uh, but now I've been doing some tests for the last uh, week and I've been bumping up a little bit higher. And it's been working pretty good uh, for me. So right now it's at 18. You, so usually what I'll do, I'll just play with the sensitivity. I'll go one by one. And I'll look at the chart to see if something get better. Um, so I'll play a little bit with it. And then when I, I like what I see, I go down to the agility. And the same thing, I'll go up, I'll go down. And I try to make it as clean as possible. So that's the way I do it. Now, after, when it's done, I'll use the chart um, depending what kind of trading. Let's say like today, uh, I, bid, I did a little bit of uh, trade and it was on the five minute chart. And don't forget, once you adjust the uh, sensitivity and the agility, let's say on the 15 minute chart, it doesn't mean uh, those settings will be fine for the other time uh, chart. So I know that for the five minute, 15 minute and 30 minute, usually those settings are w working pretty good for me. So what I like about the reversal cloud, it's usually a, it's really a good time to show me when it would be a good time to uh, take a position or to exit a position. So usually by looking at the chart, if I see that the price is going into the cloud, the reversal cloud, I know it's a good time, a good timing to enter my position. But personally, what I do, I don't take position when the price is inside the cloud. I wait that when it exit the cloud and then from there I take my position. So I took a position this morning around 10 o'clock um, about right here uh, because I wait um, actually was yeah, a little bit maybe 10 10 05 or 10 10. Uh, usually I'll wait at least one candle outside of the zone before I take a position and why because it does happen sometime that the price will stay inside the zone for a while let me show you if I can have an example right here right here that's a very good example so as we can see it hit the cloud went out and then it dropped again, it entered the cloud and stayed in the cloud for a while. So usually I will wait um, for it to leave the cloud. So when it's, when it's staying very close to the cloud like this, I'll wait. So it's inside the cloud here for a while, then go out. It's still like very, very close, still going inside, go very, very close. And then when I see, like a candle, like this candle, or the next one is moving away, I'll take a position from here. Um, so that would be a good example. Same thing here, it will enter the cloud, but I won't take any position until it leaves the cloud completely. So, just to give you an ID. So this morning I took position right here and I let it go and I sold just actually just before uh, the sell signal uh, I sold around 12 o'clock around noon yeah that was about it that I decided to take my profit uh, because for me it was pretty good uh, profit 
so it was around 3%, uh, which was fine. And then again, uh, same thing here, I just uh, took a position around, uh, actually was 215 this afternoon, yeah, about it. Usually what I do, when you see the signal right here, like we have a, a sell signal, let's say right here, usually I'll wait the candle to close. So, so if I'm trading on the five minute, I'll wait for the candle to close after five minutes and then I decide if I take a position or not because then this can reverse, it can change. Um, so always make sure to wait for the candle to close before deciding if you want to take position or not. And don't go only by those signal. Make sure you use other tools uh, for trading. I'll use a lot on myself uh, support and resistance. So I'll look where is the support, where is the resistance, and from there also I can decide it if I want to take profit or not. We all have our own way to do some trading, so make sure you use the tool you're used to do because just by using the signal itself you could but there's sometimes signal or will be false like yeah right here actually um, so see we have a buy signal right here so and usually I always say wait for the candle to close so you would enter your position right here at the top and then it would go down so you would have to wait until it go back up for you to take profit it would go back up after a while, well it should, uh, but it might take longer depending what's the uh, trend right now. 5 minutes, 15 minutes are one of my favorite. Never use below 5 minutes. Um, it, the signal it gave, it just doesn't make sense. Well for me anyway, uh, I've been trying it and it's, it's not working on the 1 minute for me. Nonsense at all. So I prefer to use the five minute minimum or even the 15 minutes. Um, it's also uh, pretty good uh, to use. And the other option sometimes I will use, it's right here. So when you go to the um, indicators, you have the oscillator and the volatility. Uh, so I'll use the oscillator, which is right here and that's the one i use this one is called um the normalize so it's giving me a little bit of what's going on if it's it currently in overbought or oversold so it would help me sometime to take better decision uh, but i don't necessarily always use it i still love to use the good old-fashioned rsi or uh, the magd um, but I'm trying to get you a little bit more with this one um, but I'm just starting to using it and also uh, this uh, little panel right here I will also take a glance at it and take a look to see what is currently going on so I can see the price is currently trending on the confirmation I have a strong buy right now on the 15 minute chart and Contarian it's telling me a sell and the volatility so it's seven, almost 70 percent so it's not too bad right now the price action is controlled by the bull at 70 percent and the liquidity level is medium so as we can see right now yeah it's going up on the 15 minute trend so if somebody would enter a, a buy position right here and you want to take profit let's say until it touched the cloud, that would be about 2%. As you can see right here. So right now the price is right here. So we just need to wait to come right here and we would have a 2.25% gain. Um, let's go see on the five minutes. Yeah, five minutes, pretty similar. So it would tell me to buy right here. Let's see at the end of this candle and right now I am at 2.68%. Uh, did I took position on this one? Yes, I did actually. Yes, I did took position. No, that's uh, Ethereum. I took position on actually BTC. 
around 2 o'clock this afternoon. But I took, I just took position not long ago, uh, right here. Um, so probably right now, probably somewhere around here I took my position. So right now I am at over 2.5%. So probably by the end of uh, this video, my uh, sell order will be executed um, because probably I did a, an order around here or around here um, that I took profit in. So anyway, that's a very good example just to give you a, a live uh, situation. So that's very easy. I love Luxalgo. It worked very good for me. I'm not an expert. Uh, I'm not an, an expert trader. So uh, I'm just a guy that like to do tradings. For me, it's just a hobby. It's a passion. I make passive income out of this. So I really love it. And Luxalgo really, really helped me uh, to make better decision and to be more successful in my trade. So that was just a quick video just to show you because I know a lot of people are uh, asking themselves uh, some a lot of the question. I hope it did help. So make sure to adjust it properly. Wait for the confirmation. Uh, use all the tool there is available. The reversal cloud at the beginning, I wasn't using it at all. But now I really start to enjoy it. Uh, it's working really good for me. If you're using it like me, like I said, make sure that the the candle exit the cloud completely before taking a position. And same thing with the signal. Wait for the candle to close before taking position. So that's it for me. I hope you did like it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you did like this uh, video, please hit the like button. And hopefully you have a wonderful day. And I'll talk to you very soon in the next one. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.